And let's also talk about the elephant in the room. I had a stroke. He's never let me forget that. And I might miss some words during this debate, mush two words together, but it knocked me down, but I'm going to keep coming back up. Should abortion be banned in America? 60 seconds. There should not be involvement from the federal government in how states decide their abortion decisions. As a physician, I've been in the room when there's some difficult t conversations happening. I don't want the federal government involved with that at all. I want women, doctors, local uh, political leaders, letting the democracy that's always allowed our nation to thrive to put the best ideas forward so states can decide for themselves. I support on Roe v. Wade. That was the law of the land for 50 years. He celebrated when it fell down, and I would fight to reestablish on Roe v. Wade. That's what I run on, that's what I believe, and I've always believed that the choice believes women and their doctors, and he believes that the choice should be with him or Republican legislators all across this nation. Republican governors in the South have been sending migrants to Democratic-run cities and states without a plan or without any coordination. It is certainly gaining a lot of attention, but is it an effective way to deal with the influx of migrants? You have 60 seconds. My father was an immigrant. My mother were immigrants. You know, I understand what legal immigration offers us, but the completely porous, open nature of our border, which John Fetterman supports, has created a humanitarian crisis. I believe we need a comprehensive and bipartisan solution for immigration. That, that's what I believe. I don't ever recall in the Statue of Liberty did they say, you know, you know, take our tired huddle masses and put them on a bus and use cheap political stunts about them.